We are at the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the Team New York Aquatics Swim Camp. Over 40 swimmers from Paris to San Francisco are here for seven days of intensive training. typical day for the swimmers has been 7 a.m. dry land training, two hours in the water, a few hours rest, back to the pool for another dry land training and another hour and a half in the pool. So I am uh, with two of our coaches from this week from Team New York Aquatics, uh, Brian Karens and David Hovey. And uh, we are just finishing up the week. It was a great week. Uh, so I want to ask uh, Brian, uh, you guys are both with uh, Team New York and this week you brought in an outside coach from uh, California, Abby Liu, nationally recognized coach. How was the interaction and having someone as an outsider? It's amazing. I mean, I think the the beauty of having someone who's an outsider coming to the club is the ability to bring an outside thinking and outside perspective to what people do every day. So most of these swimmers swim with us so if we, you know, twice a week, every week, then you know, they know your style, they know what they're going to get into, and sometimes to really train you need to break down in that cycle. And Abby was amazing, um, incredibly humble, wild, we call it. Um, wonderful to have a we don't have a lot of specifically gay women that are actually coaching today. Uh, so it's been wonderful. Awesome, very cool. And uh, David, uh, I noticed during the week that a lot of people are repeat attenders to this uh, camp. And so I wanted to ask, why? what is it about this camp that's bringing people back every year? Sure, um, I think it's two things. And I think it's the two things we were really trying to push while we were designing everything was the focus on really helping swimmers become better swimmers by focusing on technique, different training styles, which bringing Abby in was really helpful with that because it does give that different perspective. Um, and then the other big thing we were trying to focus on was just the community and the building. Um, you know, we're all here to swim, but we're here to make friends and meet people. So having the social events that we have and doing fun things in the fall, I think uh, it helps shape people's relationship with the sport and not just something to stay in shape, but something that they can grow. And Okay, very cool. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Capital Sports TV on the CCE Sports Network. Where, Where diversity, diversity lives. lives.